Thank you, Mr. President. The International Service for Human Rights welcomes the creation of important new special procedure mandates at this session. These decisions are, strong are a strong affirmation of the Council's responsibility and commitment to identify and close protection gaps. The new mandate on freedom of assembly and asso association will be particularly important for the enhanced protection of the rights of human rights defenders. We also warmly welcome the creation of a new working groups on laws that discriminate against women. It will greatly enhance the Council's efforts to address systemic discrimination against women in law and in practice and in all parts of the world. We are pleased that many other important mandates, including on the rights of indigenous peoples, on human rights while countering terrorism, the right to health, and on the situations in Cambodia, Haiti, Somalia, and Sudan have been extended at this session. The appointment of two new mandate holders is positive, and we particularly welcome that the integrity of the appointment process has been restored. At this session, the Council has put to use some of its more innovative tools that it has at its disposal, including the holding of a standalone debate on Somalia and an informal briefing on sexual violence in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. However, we regret the lack of effective civil society participation in both of those debates, partly due to the limited time available and the inadequate prior notice given to civil society. We continue to be concerned at attempts by some delegations to invoke points of order to try to restrict meaningful debate and mount continued challenges to the fundamental need to address country situations throughout the Council's agenda. In relation to the UPR, we are disappointed at the absence of some states under review at the time scheduled for their adoption, an exceptional and unfortunate situation which we trust will not be repeated. Lastly, Mr. President, despite many positive aspects in the past session, we express deep concern at the Presidential Statement on the Council's consideration of the OHCHR strategic framework. We feel that this is an attempt at interfering with the independence of the High Commissioner. The invitation should be treated as a personal invitation from the President to the High Commissioner and not as a decision of the Council. We understand that it remains up to the High Commissioner to decide whether, how and in what form to seek the views of states and stakeholders on her strategic framework. As we enter the review process, Mr. President, it is clear that the Council, its members and observers will need to act vigorously to maintain proper tools for addressing country situations throughout the work of the Council in order to properly discharge its mandate and pay more than lip service to safeguarding the independence of the OHCHR and special procedures. Thank you.